like most artists, I both got it at his pinnacle, individually so hardened, cold hearted, dope bars, I flow harder, so sharpened, taking shots like a no marks, man, my soul's darkened, no parts, I'm so heartless, so far away from most of the known artists, seeing through a bullseye when I scope targets, I am raising the degrees without no college, I've been getting paid for money like a renegade, mixing powder in the water like it's minute made, from six to five, five to nine, I am in the game, flipping weight, whipping white, whipping, whipping cane, serve that, bagging up the rock like a dirt bag, I earned that, don't ask for a front cause I don't look bad, that looks bad, and I'm so fucking with it, a renegade after my business, let's get it, haters wanna hate but they love us, try to pull a jack when they run. I deploy Controversy club a lang Like Pastor Troy They don't wanna hear my story Cause it's too much Kill the bag Homie let's roll a new Dutch Always in the clutch That's just how we do You're talking shit But not when we're in front of you So what you wanna do You don't want that black and blue Gather up your homies And get back up in that Subaru Smoking the glue at a quarter to two Keeping it moving at 832 Watching the sun as a beautiful view Taking the time just to weigh out a few We get the juice We get the stew No matter what happens We keeping it true I'd rather be rapping than cracking the brew The fact of the matter We do this for you Damn, yo, yo. Son. Welcome to the Ruckus Podcast Show. I am the DRP. What's going on, everybody? Friday night in the house. Welcome to the Ruckus Podcast Show. My name is King Relic. King motherfucking Relic. Who's this fashionable young man? He, he likes to do this every time. So I, should we just skip it because he doesn't want to say who he is? You know what? Well, you're supposed to say it. You, you, no one can hear you right now. You guys on the audio stream right now. The, the reason why the world, the world, <laughs> the world, the, the world, the world, why, why the world, <laughs> the reason why from sun up, sun down, oh my the reason God. why the waves move in certain uh. way, the reason why, the reason why Anita Baker sings so beautifully, <laughs> me, tell me more reasons, tell me more reasons reason why, the reason why, <laughs> the reason, shout, shout out to, <laughs> say your fucking name, <laughs> yo, my name, my name is Danny Diablo, oh, there it is. The reason why this fucking podcast oh, is running, son. Every the ego of this man is maniacal. Listen, it's 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 eighty percent ego, twenty percent talent. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. Welcome to the Ruckus Podcast Show, everybody. How's everyone doing out there in Internet Land? You guys good? You guys good? You guys chilling, yeah. doing whatever? How you doing, Danny? Apparently, I'm, the sun revolves around you. I didn't know that. Listen. We but. saw the eclipse. We saw the eclipse. <laughs> we did. We did the lunar eclipse together. We so you, no, you, the you, solar eclipse. So whatever it was, you 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 weren't acting like that that day. <laughs> we we had business to conduct. As, no, no, seriously, no. The, 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 I'm happy. I'm happy too. I'm happy. Hey, Ryan, like you good? We we've only got three <laughs> people tonight in the in the Ruckus podcast We're cutting show. The fat. Yeah. <laughs> It, it feels a lot better, right? Well, Does it feel good? It like, oh, I can stretch out. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. You guys can see us better. This is great. This is why I think this is the threesome so right we here. Got the yeah. best, we got the best rapper of Force 5 right here. So. Oh, yeah, King Relic in the right. house. Well, damn. Pro Pro and, and Logic, you want to step up? No, we Relic won't name up. them. We just, we won't I'll, name, I'll name them. them. I'll put some money out right now. Relic, you ready? <laughs> ready, Relic? I'm, I'm ready, son. <laughs> Tonight, we got special guests in the house. It's going to be in about five to ten minutes. Stack Styles in the house. Suburban Noise, newest signing. I can't wait to talk to him. It's going to be a blast. I see we got a bunch of people commenting already. What's going What's going on there? Oh, someone said Randy Roach Trap. Thank you. Yeah. That, that, that makes me happy. The new The new season's coming out soon, right? The new season. Kamal just called me today. Yeah. I still haven't read the third season, and he calls me every week to read it, but I, I, I told him after I finished the, the whole so episode. Like the, the Hoya stuff, like yeah, like we, we still like it's like Hoya has new stuff for me every day. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Did, did is the video all done now? Yeah, no, it's, it's, oh. it's still yeah. They, they, hey. they filmed everything. I did film a few more things. That's it. You know? uh, Rick said room's a bit ugly. What you? What do you mean? Where you're at right now? I'm sure of that. <laughs> Tell Rick. Jake. The Balls Eclipse was the best. Oh, I seen that. Hoya sent me that one. <laughs> why, the Balls why, Eclipse. Why, why Hoya, why'd you send that to why me? Why'd you do that? <laughs> I, I knew it was coming. It bothered me. 
<laughs> what's like what's a, going on, Lee? There's like a lot Godzilla of people in the house. You, you, you guys shout yourself where you're where you're from. Give us your area code. Where, what country? Gastric bypass in the cast tonight. What's that? <laughs> Man, oh, oh, Danny, they know. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you guys for tuning in with us. We really appreciate it. Like I said, coming up soon is going to be uh, Stack Styles from Suburban Noise Records. But we're going to talk a few minutes. And like I said, we always do this live on Fridays at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. But we also always show the audio version on Spotify, iHeartRadio. Oh, yeah, you do it. <laughs> and Spreaker. Oh, I- and any digital place that you listen to, uh, courtesy of Diablo's Den Podcast, yes. Jay Reason, Tim Bora, Tim Bora, and Sound Talent Media. Shout out to Sound Talent Media and shout out to Tim Bora. Shout, shout to out to Napster. Static Ever, <laughs> <laughs> Static Ever Records, man. Jay Reason, I love you, brother. Well, this has been a great show already. There's a lot of people tuning in. Thank you, guys, as you always. Where, where are people tuning Right in? here. There's people tuning in here. The Instagram's got a bunch of people. It's... I, I'm not going to go to Instagram. Right. I, I'm running the show right now, Danny. <laughs> you, you realize I can't, like, I, I'm ru- actually running the show as we speak. It's live. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm, uh, how, how am I going to learn? Uh, I, well, it, it's a crash course. It's, it's a it, crash, crash course the system. Brain, in brain surgery. Crash the system. <laughs> it crash the system. Uh, Danny. Yeah. You have shows. Actually, no. I want to talk about this real quick. What's that? Before we talk about all our oh, stacks in the house. Uh, actually, let's get Stack. Let's uh, let's talk to Stack real quick, and then we're gonna talk about some of the, st- the shows in that coming up. He just he came in. Uh, we're gonna show this real quick. Stack's got this coming up. All right, bring it to the stage. Suburban Noise Records' newest signing. Yeah. Here he is in the flesh, Stack Styles. What's going Stack on, brother? Stack Styles. What up, y'all? What's cracking? What's going on, brother? Not much. How you guys doing? We're Great. good, man. We're good. We just want to say thank you for uh, taking a few minutes to, to talk to us here on the Ruckus Podcast Show. Oh, hell yeah, man. I appreciate y'all having me. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> This is uh like uh I'm the DRP. This is Danny Diablo right here. I don't know if you knew this, but Danny was signed to Sub Noise back in the day. Well, yeah, the dude. I, hey I'm man, I still got the album. I still got the album. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right yeah. on, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Hell yeah. Um, hey, hey so, man, so so le- you guys are legends, man. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. It means a lot, brother. For real, well, hey, man. No, for real. You're, you're you're blazing your own path now. It's it's dope to see. Uh I'm good friends with James Wright, who uh, you know run sub sub noise with Kevin and I talk to him all the time and he's he's been telling me about everything you've been doing there with the tours and stuff like that and it's been it's been great to see your guy your, your rise up you know from the ranks of what everything you've been doing for the last couple of years has paid off and where it's at now I, I want to congratulate you with everything you're doing man oh hell yeah thank you so much man I appreciate that yeah man it's been crazy <laughs> so let me ask you this how how did you uh I, obviously you Suburban noise, I could tell that it means a lot to you and, you know, being there now. But explain to me the story behind how you got signed to Sub Noise. Oh, man, it's a crazy one, dude. So, like, back, it all started way back in the day in, like, 04, 05. I, uh, I went to a show, and it was uh, King Spade Mower, Sub Noise Soldiers in Tucson. <laughs> and I was the only dude. I was the only one in the parking lot when Mower pulled up. And like yeah. Dom, Chris, Brian from Mower, they had never been to Tucson before. I yeah. drove them around. They were like, hey, dude, can, if you roadie for us tonight, they're like, we'll get you in for free, you know, da 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 da. So I roadie for them that night and uh, I did I did a really good job, you know, me and my homie. And they got us in for free and uh, introduced us to everybody. That's how we met Chuck and Richter and Loke, uh, Big B. Uh, Saint Dog, Judge D, all those dudes were there, man. It was crazy. This is like oh four, oh five. I want to say oh five, like right when the first Sub Noise Soldiers dropped. Mm-hmm. And so that was really how it all started. And through that, uh, I was in a group called CCS Crew. We got Chucky featured on a couple of things. We got Daddy X featured on one of our albums. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I, Daddy X actually introduced me to Andy Kane. Uh, and then Andy King kind of introduced me to everybody else from there. And what was really cool, how it happened, how I ended up getting signed was, uh, you know, I always, it was my dream to be signed to Suburban Noise. 
and I was shopping. Yeah. Uh, I shot my record, Mr. Purple, to them, and they weren't really feeling it. So uh, I, I linked up. Andy actually linked me up with uh, LD from Sublime with Rome and uh, mm -hmm. Neutron. So I went out right. to California to Costa Mesa and started recording with those dudes. And that EP ended up turning into an album. Yeah. And I happened to be, I was like February of 2023. And I happened to be at Suburban Noise office. I was talking to Zinger uh, and Andy were talking about the record that I was cutting. I ended up uh, showing them a rough draft of that. And then it was crazy, man. Andy called me. It was like, I want to say in April or May of last year. And he's like, yo, he's like, Zinger wants you to come out. We're going to have a meeting with Zinger in Malibu at his house. <laughs> and I was yeah, like, yeah. I was like, what? I was yeah. like, for real? Man? I, was like, Cause I was like, I was crazy. So I was like, damn, this is some serious shit. So we yeah. went out there and uh, met with Zinger and we just, you know, chopped it up. I showed him some of the new music videos, uh, the one I did with Richter and, uh, and Obnoxious. And then uh, well, we shot some pool. And uh, he listened to the record a couple of times. And fucking next thing you know, I just got a call. And we're like, yeah, man, we're going to do this. And I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. dude, like what a dream come true, man. It's just so that's crazy cool. how everything came full circle, you know? Yeah, that's 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 amazing story. I, I love I love hearing that, man. You've been grinding for a long time. So that's that's dope. You know, congrats to you and the grind. You know, it paid off. You know what I mean? Yeah, for and, sure, and man. Took a long was time. The, what, what, was the tour, what was the tour you were just on with Richter? Was it Richter and Head P.E.? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Uh, the Bring the Noise Tour 2024. It was uh, me, Richter, and Head PE, and then, you know, DJ Swamp. I got, I got, DJ Swamp's my DJ. Yeah, yeah, right. that's, that's dope as fuck. So, uh, where are you from, Stack? Are, are you from Arizona? Oh, well, I was actually originally born uh, in Houston, Texas, Houston, just right? outside of Houston in uh, Conroe. And that's gotcha. where I was originally, I was born there, but yeah, I mean, I, I've mainly my whole life been in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, I, I mean, I bounced around a lot, but uh, majority of my time was spent in Tucson, Arizona. That's home. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. Right now, I'm actually in New Mexico, though. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, that's, that's what I thought. I, I, I thought you said New Mexico when we were talking about the time zones and stuff. So I wasn't yeah. sure. I was like, I think Arizona, but I'm like, maybe New Mexico. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't put a place where exactly you were from. Yeah, yeah, Tucson, Arizona, man. That's that's really where I'm from. I, that's that's where I represent, and like, I still have like a studio down there. All my yeah. all my all my like uh, uh, my artists from Dope Shop Records and my like my homies are all down in Tucson still, just grinding, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Well, uh, let let me ask you this now. So, uh, what was it, what the first record you released on Sub Noise was? What what was it called? Oh. uh, no, I, I, this will be the first one. I this is, okay, that's what, that's what I thought. So I'm gonna, I just yeah. want to show this real quick. Live Your Best Life. That's your first release coming up soon, right, on Force 5. The, the pre-orders are up now on SuburbanNoiseRecords.com, correct? Correct, correct. SubNoiseStore.com, yep. SubNoiseStore.com. Uh, for you guys that are out there watching, this, this is the CD cover right here. Yep. This is the pre-order. Who do you all got on this record? Let people know who's all on this record with you. All right, yeah, this is my third full-length album, my first one on Sub Noise, and I got I got Johnny Richter on there. Uh, we did a song called Leave with the King. Uh, DJ Swamp Scratches on there. Actually, DJ Swamp Scratches through majority of the record. He, he's, he's on several tracks. Yeah. And then uh, also, I got uh, Obnoxious on there. Obnoxious um, the homie. Shout out to Obnoxious. Yeah, yeah, shout out yeah. to Obnoxious, man, for sure. Uh, I also got uh, uh, the I got Why Not on there, the homie Why Not. He was from uh, King of the Dot and uh, Voice Box Battles. He's done some battle raps and shit. Is that the uh, is that the video Renegade that just dropped? Yeah, That's, yeah. For for people that are listening in, that was the first video we played when we opened the the show tonight. The so, rapper, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, that was Why Not. Yep. Where's he from? Uh, he's from Tucson. Also, All right. he's from Tucson, Arizona. Yeah. And uh, and he actually like he's battled in so many different leagues like URL and King of the Dot and all that shit. So it was really cool to have him and Obnoxious team up because you know Obnoxious had done the 106 in Park yeah. like freestyle you know yeah, championship. Yeah. So I thought it was cool to just take those two. I, I knew it was gonna be like a bar heavy song, and it, it was dope because it took me kind of to a different element. So um, Ob but Obnoxious yeah. can kill. Obnoxious kills every verse he does too. I know you're talking. And he's oh, fucking yeah, real, hilarious, real, man. <laughs> Dude's a beast, dude, for yeah. sure. But uh, uh, Neutron's on the album. Um, I got uh, John Russell from, uh, uh, he was the lead singer of uh, Lethal Injection. and um, Oh, dope, dope. 
Uh, what they're, else? They're an he, Arizona he, fan too, right? That's a new metal yeah, band from yeah. Arizona. Yep. Yeah, Lethal Injection. Uh, he's he's currently working with uh, Stands with Fist and As the World Burns. But I know, I know he was also in Dope Sick with uh, Adam Albright at one point. All right. Yeah. So he's kind of been all around. But he uh, he's on the record. Uh, Matt Good from from first to last. He did a lot of the. Uh, he did all the guitars and he basically made this whole one track from scratch on the yeah. record. And then of course uh, LD from Sublime with Rome did a lot of the beats. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anybody else featured on it. Oh, Chucky Chuck, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Chucky yeah. Chuck. Yeah. What up, Chuck? Yeah. Chucky Chuck. 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 Yeah, Chucky. Send Olsen. that track, son. Yeah. Yeah. Chucky, Chucky, Chuck, you tuned in. You gotta send that track to Diablo right now. Yeah, he was he was in the back <laughs> of the car doing whippets. <laughs> uh, uh, Uncle Vinny Uncle just said collab too. with Easy. What's that? He, got, he called me yesterday too. He was in the fucking car. With the nitrous, he had the nitrous. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? If I was a cop, I'd pull you motherfuckers <laughs> over real quick. <laughs> Yo, crazy. All of you guys are not very inconspicuous, I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, Chucky, <laughs> me and Chucky are just from different coasts. Yeah. <laughs> the, the same man from different coasts. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. like, we always like, do like, 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 let's go. I, Stack, I had to tour with Chucky and Danny in the same van with me. Do you know what that was like? That was pretty cool. No, it was oh, good. It was, I, I bet you that was fucking dope. Yeah, it was dope. It was dope. <laughs> I, I'm kidding. It was It was good. <laughs> Uncle Vinny said, hey, man, I, can't, I can't. I want to fucking tour with you guys, man. I want to party with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, I'm talking. I was actually out. talking to James about it yesterday. We're, we're gonna try to make something happen. It'd be it'd be super we gotta sick. Go, we yeah. gotta do something. Yeah, yeah. I know. Let's and plus, plus, we gotta get Zinger out. We gotta get Zinger to come one of the shows and, and fucking party. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. That would be dope. Yeah. So, uh, let me ask you this too. So, I, I know you said. Uh, you, you did a song with Richter and Chucky, how you met them in 2006. What was it? What was it like? We, we actually just had Jared from Head P on our show last week. I feel like it's a sub noise month here at, at the yeah. Rubs Podcast. We're doing a lot of yeah. stuff. But what was it like? To, uh, I, I don't know if you're a, a big fan of Head P. I'm a huge fan. What was it like touring with them for that, that month when you guys went out? Oh, bro, dude, it was so dope, man. Like, like you know, it's, it's a dream come true doing all this shit. And like, yeah, being out there with Head P, man, they're like, uh, they're one of my favorite bands. Actually, what's crazy is that my, my homie Jers, shouts out to Jers, uh, he he moved he moved out to Tucson in like 99, 2000. He was the first dude to put me on to Head PE. And ever since then, I was a fan. And then when they got signed to Sub Noise, I was like, I was like even more, I was even more yeah. of a fan. And uh, yeah, yeah. so I got like Back to Basics. I got Insomnia. I got New World Orphans, NWO. You know, I, I got <laughs> all yeah, the yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all the records, man. So yeah, going out with them was just super fucking dope. And like, Jared's just a legend, dude. And so it's you know, trauma. Those dudes are fucking legends, man. Like, yeah. and it's just so dope to to uh uh was so dope to be out there with them on the road and just <clears throat> just to see their grind, man. And just like, just they're still out there doing it, Jared. You know, just fucking still out there doing it and killing it, like killing it. Like you wouldn't, you. I mean. I, I mean, I thought the dude was like forty. <laughs> yeah, I know he's he's but he's, 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 he's out there, but he looks great and he's fucking he still crushes it live, man. He crushes it, crushes it, bro. I was so impressed, man. And it's like just getting to do that, just getting a tour with those dudes, and they were all super cool, man. They like got me a birthday cake because it was my birthday on the <laughs> tour. And shit, so. They fucking like yeah. they like threw me some change. They like 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 they got like seven dollars and quarters and like threw it to me and shit. Was funny. <laughs> that's <laughs> key on the road, yeah, man. That's, yeah, but, that's your laundry. Uh, uh, yeah, right there. I, you I, know, I, laundry I was, I was, I was on fucking laundry at the hotel, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Stack, I but can tell know, that, but it was really cool. I, I can tell that just by talking to you how much you enjoy doing music and how much you're, you're having a good time doing everything. And I think that's, what's most important. Like some people get lost in the fact that, you know, the business and stuff like that, but you could tell you genuinely really enjoy music and what you're doing. And that's refreshing to see. You know what I mean? That's, yeah, that's dope. Thanks, Props man. Man. We'll, we'll see. We'll see in a few more years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on road trips to see how you're like. <laughs> some tours of some of these bands. Yeah. yeah. God, help me. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. <laughs> that guy owes you $5,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I do, man. I do love this shit, dude. I do love, I, you know, I, I was talking about the shit. I, I was like, I wish it was back in like 
the eighties and nineties though, you know, just cause all this social media shit, it's like you can as an artist today, you constantly got to be on social media and constantly like doing all this bullshit, you know? And it's like, it kind of yep. takes away from like the writing and recording and touring, you know, we were, when you have to it's torture. Like, we, we, we talk yeah. about this all the time here at the label. Like I, I press these besides Danny's always on it, but I press the other guys. I'm like, I know you guys don't want to do this, it, 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 but you have to, you I have do, to I do it at my own, my own time. I, I'm but it, it does, it does stifle like yeah, creativity. It, it really yeah. does. You know what I mean? Like it's you, rough. It's yeah. rough. Yeah. But it's, you in this day and age, you gotta do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, you have to. It fucking it it sucks, but it's like you have to do it, man. And it's like it just kind of becomes part of the the daily grind, you know, of, of having to get get engagement. It's the first thing and, you do in the morning. I was gonna say first thing. first thing I wake up in the morning, I check my shit by by uh, social media, and then I'm like, all right, what content am I posting right away? It's yep. the first thing I'm thinking. Not before my coffee, anything. I, just, I think about pussy I, first, but oh, whatever. I, I hate when you have. A, I hate when. I hate when I'm on the road. I'm like, who's up and ready to fuck at eight a.m. You know, the, 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 the one I hate the most when Donnie wakes up in the morning because he thinks it's working. Everyone, yeah, Donnie gets up at three. We get up at noon. Yeah, yeah, listen, yeah listen, no, no, but he gets a, a tour. We just been doing cocaine, and fucking bitches yeah, all night. Yeah, these guys are doing cocaine this guy, all night. This guy's, I'm like, he's a high guy. I'm at, I'm, I'm up at six talk, in the morning, ready to fucking do. Two people were like, like I got like, business shut to do, the man. fuck I up. Business man. To, I gotta Outside. run the business. Do that downstairs. Get, do these that guys get the fucking do hobby. Hoot and holler. I gotta fucking do the business. But I still I go to yeah. bed. Who the fuck? Is it's Hoot funny because Donnie goes and sits in the van with his notepad and like yeah. all his shit. He yeah. does it all sitting in the driver's seat. Yeah. 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 Well, Danny and Danny are in there sleeping like vampires. Yeah. I, I go right to oh, sleep. Yeah, no, I feel you, man, because I'm the dude now, like. I used to be like that all the time when I could just kick back, like, especially when I was like touring with Lethal Injection and shit. Like, yeah, you know, you could just fucking party all night, yeah. sleep all day in the van and shit. Now, now I gotta fucking, I gotta get up at like six a.m. make a whole list for the day. Fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. all that shit. Yeah. You know? That's what just the second wake up. Hey, on. you gotta make sure Zinger's happy. If you don't fucking make Zinger happy, that's it, brother. <laughs> Zinger, right, Zinger's know. one of one of the nicest. Yeah, guys he, in is. The world. he I, is. I love Zinger. I I, I uh, worked for too. I worked for Sub Noise for a couple of years. I was doing the social media and stuff, and it after a while I just couldn't do it. I was like, "It's too much." Between Sub Noise, Force Five, DRP, Scarhead, uh, all the other shit we were doing, I couldn't I couldn't do all this. Hey, remember media. when we had him on and it was his humble tour of his room with all yeah. of the, oh that just a couple gold records some platinum yeah, records. Like, there's a there's a ten million platinum. There's a two million platinum. There's the Sublime <laughs> album, like yeah, all right. No big Kevin. deal. I'm going surfing in the morning. Yeah. That's yeah. right. We had Kevin. I said we've had yep. three sub noise in the last month. Yeah, yeah. Kevin's a great guy. Oh, yeah, Kevin that's is. Dope, man. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. Yeah, no, no they, Kevin's Kevin's amazing, man. Well, I'm, I'm, Ivory, Kevin, Ivory, Dan, yeah. Ivory, yeah, yeah, yeah dude. All the guys I can't thank those people. dudes enough, man. I can't. I cannot think like Andy Kane, Ivory. Kevin Zinger, Troy, all those dudes in the office, man. Redemption, James yeah. Wright, man, fucking David, Adrian, all those dudes, man, have been so so awesome to me, and they gave me a chance, man. They like they give me an opportunity, so uh, I, I don't want to let those dudes down, man. I'm just going like 110 percent, fucking balls to the wall, giving it my all, you know. The secret Hell weapon yeah. though there is James Wright. That motherfucker knows everything he's, about he's, social he's media he's and he's advertising. He's, he's, yeah, he's. James Rice, the homie, and he you is. Talk to him too. Yeah, he, he he and and he he loves music. Like he generally loves the music he's working with, which yeah. is Stack. He Man, always he's... talks about you. When me and James talk, we always talk. He's like, dude, Stack's gonna be huge. Like. He he talks you up big time. It's it's dope, man. Fuck yeah, that's what's up, man. He's taught me a lot already, man. Just yeah. in the last listen, couple months, just I just shit I didn't even know about like Facebook and and Meta. Listen and, like, to everything he has to tell you, man. He's a fucking genius with that. I got Hell yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's what's Stacks, up. Stacks and Jason the Sin God and Tony Slippers together. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> 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 they were going all crazy. That'd be dope. So, yo, Stacks, what else besides um, the album coming up? What what else you got in the works right now? Any more tours coming in the works? What what else you got coming up? Uh, well, <clears throat> you know, right now is we're just really pressing the pre-order packages on the subnoisestore.com and like all the different ones that we have, and uh, and just trying to get like the limited edition vinyls out, the CDs, all that, and really mm -hmm. pressing the pre-orders digitally as well, like on iTunes, on Spotify, getting everybody to pre-order, pre-save it. You know, just trying to get on these charts really is what we're trying to do. Um, we had we've had some 
things in the works. Like we we almost went out on tour with Twisted Insane, just didn't that, didn't that work out. Sick. It didn't work out. But uh, we're right now we're working on um, a date uh, for the CD release. So I think we're gonna do three. They're gonna do three CD release parties in three different cities, and I believe it's gonna be Tucson, Arizona, San Diego, and LA are gonna be the three cities and the three CD release shows that we're gonna do. Um, we are, it's not official yet. We're working on it, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we got it. We're gonna have it locked in pretty quick and, and have you, those. Dates you heard released. it here first. Dax Styles is playing Milwaukee, Wisconsin on the CD. Everything is. I'm kidding, man. I'm, I'm kidding, brother. That's that's sick. That's dope, man. Yeah, I think so. I think that right now, that's that's kind of the initial plan. Hopefully, it's it, we end up doing more than that because, um, you know, I, I mean, I, there's the, there's Gallup, there's Albuquerque, there's Flagstaff, there's Phoenix, there's so many different. Yeah, Albuquerque has a good scene. Albuquerque does have a good scene, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah for definitely. sure, man. Oh man, like when we I've played Gallup now. I think I've played Gallup, New Mexico, more than any place in the last five how about, years. How about Taos? Where? No, Taos. I've only played. I only played Taos, Taos. once. Uh, Taos I'm, I'm like, I'm about, I'm about 50, 45 minutes from Taos. Wait, wait, Taos? C.K. Jones is from Taos. My ex-wife is from Taos. Really? Yeah. No <laughs> yeah. way. Native American. Yeah. 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 Mad oh, turquoise jewelry. Man, <laughs> yeah. man, man, man. <laughs> Dream catchers and turquoise jewelry. Dude, struggle Jennings would be on <laughs> on a field trip out my, there. My, my son is Puerto Rican, Native American, and fucking white trash. <laughs> And black, <laughs> black yeah. trash. I, I <laughs> didn't, I didn't know C.K. Jones was from uh, yeah, Taos. That's yo, crazy. Yo, Taos, New Mexico. Yeah, no shit. That's dope. No, he, That's he was. Dope. He had a band back in the day, and they were big, and, and they would always sell, sell out Taos. That's where he got. I never uh, even had another city. girlfriend from Queens, a Colombian girl. Yeah, who has a, who went out there and was an aunt, like a like a, 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 a married a Native American guy. Yeah, yeah, Colombian Native American. But she said that. CK is one of the biggest persons house back then, like, uh, like, oh, the, no shit. like 10 years ago. Huh. Shit, we, right. we, uh, we did Crazy, a show right? in Taos back in January. We just showed back in Taos back in January, but dude, Gallup, man, like when we did the Underground Alliance tour with Blaze Your Dead Homie, that shit, yeah. it was, it was insane. Like, that was like the best, the best, uh, show of the whole tour, man. Just like it was sold out. It was probably 500 people there. That's cool. That's, yeah, that's, you know, yeah. Listen, underground, it, it, it's hard, you know, some of these tours to, to play because, you know, people are struggling, man. You know, yeah, people yeah. are struggling. Yeah. Artists feel, you know, it's, it's you, you play a show, when you come, you put all your all out, and, you know, it's like on your tour, you open up sometimes and people aren't there. You know, yeah. and you're like, all right, this is sick. A tour can take a lot out of you mentally, too. Well, what tries... It, it, the Tuesday, Wednesday shows, and people are like, "Why are you playing here on a Tuesday?" Because that's the routing, you guys. Like, yeah. come out on the Tuesday. We need, we need your guys' support. You know what I mean? In, in the underground, those are the toughest days: Tuesdays, Wednesdays. But we got to do that on tour. You know what I mean? To get to the next right. time, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays. Yeah. I yep. Oh, I get, I get people bitching about that shit all the time, man. Like, yeah. when you book a tour, you'll put the tour dates up, and they're like, "Oh, what the fuck? You didn't." Fucking come to fucking Dallas. Fuck you. Like you didn't come to why why like, there's no, no a, fucking Atlanta. Yeah. And it's like, bro, like it's like I'm not a booking agent. Like, this is what they book. This man. is what this they is book. Imagine how long the tours would be. Well, we got six days till Saturday, boys. Yeah, like, yeah we're not gonna tour for six days. Yeah. We'll just play Saturday nights for everyone yeah. in every city. Like we're on tour for seven years. <laughs> yeah. with one album. I'll be, I'll be in the Walmart parking lot all week. Yeah. <laughs> so so <tough. laughs> Exactly. So I, I showed this right before you played. I'm going to show this again real quick, and then let's talk about this. I'm going to just show Weed Day. Is this still happening April 17th for you? Yeah, 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 right. man. Let me show this uh, again to the people, and then we're going to okay. come right back, and we're going to talk about this, all right? Okay, 30 cool. seconds. So, yo, Weed Day, April 17th. Explain, to, explain Day. to people what that is on your social media. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go live on we're going to go live on IG, Facebook, TikTok and YouTube all at the same, same time. time. Yeah. And, and and what we're going to do is we're going to be doing some free giveaways. I got some stuff from tour that I'm going to be giving away. I'm just going to you know be autographing and giving away. 
um, just to, to people who tune in, we're gonna select a couple random people to uh, give some free giveaways to. Uh, we got some announcements that I'm gonna make uh, for the street team and uh, what we're gonna be doing with them. And also, you know, we're gonna be doing a whole smoke sesh, man. Like, for, nice. you know, bring your bring your best buds, bring your best, uh, you know, your, your bongs, blunts, dabs. Or I'm gonna do it all on the podcast. So I, you know, if you if you want to join me, letting everybody know that they, they can come and join me. We're gonna just kind of have like a and basically it's a Q and A too. If anybody yeah, has yeah. any questions, I know I know there was a lot of uh, uh, people had a lot of questions for me that I didn't answer on the last live. Yeah. So I was kind of like. Yeah, and I saw. I just wanted to, and there was people that asked questions. I think they wanted to ask questions on the staunch interview. That so, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll open it up to like a Q and A, and we'll we'll have like a smoke sesh, and I'll give away some free stuff. It'll be cool. Hmm. Staunch is the homie too. I, staunch is a real big supporter of everything that in the underground. So that that's dope. You just did a interview with him on his his channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did. A, I, I'm trying to think when it was. I want to say it was. I want to say it probably about a month ago. It might have been a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, that's not exactly sure. But yeah, no, Staunch is cool, man. He's a good piece. Yeah. That's that's fucking dope, man. Well, before before we uh let you go, man, I anything else you wanted to talk about coming up or uh promote? I I'm gonna show this one more time to people that maybe just tuned in, but your your new album is up for pre-order right now. Let me let me post this. Tell people where they can uh order this right now. Live your best life. All right, live your best life. The Stack Styles, the third full length album. You can get it on subnoisestore.com right now. That you can get the physical CDs, the vinyls. We got limited edition gold vinyls, and then we have the stack packs, which come with uh stack packs. Yeah, we got the stack packs, which come with like you know, limited edition shirts, uh hat yeah. and, a, and a sticker pack. <laughs> so uh yeah, we got those popping off on subnoisestore.com. Oh, or if you want to get it digitally, you know, that helps out. That helps us out too. Yeah, um, the pre-orders on digital, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And like you can go <clears throat> iTunes store. Uh, I think now we finally had the we had some issues with the Apple music uh pre-save link, but I think now we got that all fixed. So you That's can, always uh, an issue uh, with the Apple. You can pre-save it. Yeah, you can pre-save it on Apple Music or like Spotify or all that shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it, I yeah. think it's available everywhere. Yeah, should be. I I know that you're gonna chart. It's gonna do real well for your stack. Uh, I'm really I'm really happy to see all your success, and it's dope. And I'm sure our, our paths will cross in the future here because Sub Noise and Force Five works together on a lot of shit. So it's, yeah, you want yeah, show, let's, you let's show out here, Johnny? Book it. Yeah, when you're ready for show out here, a solo show, we'll we'll make we'll, something we'll happen, man. Yeah, definitely. Okay, fuck yeah, dude. I'm with it, man. I fucking dude. That'd be super dope, man. I appreciate yeah. you guys. Yeah, definitely. Well, Stack, uh, before we, like I said, before we go, is there anything else you want to talk about before we get out of here? And, uh, and, Shit, uh, I'm trying, I'm just, I'm trying to think, man. Like, <laughs> you know. I, Sorry I, to put I, you I, in the I, spot. <laughs> no, no, you're all good, dude. I, I mean, I think we kind of covered all the bases, you know, new new records coming out June 21st. That was dope, uh, the story know, about the Sub Noise story, too, about how it came to be. So I, I was curious about that. As, that was cool to hear, man. Yeah, man. Well, you know, it's just it God, that, that was such a crazy experience because we ended up getting the roadie for mower more and we actually did uh, I love more by the way. Yeah, dude. Bro, like, Wasn't it Chris? Dom, Dom the was the first Tom? one. Dom oh, was Tom. the first Dom. one to introduce Dom's me. Yeah. Yeah, Dom's Dom with the spikes, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Dom was the first one to introduce me to Zinger in at Kane's in San Diego. And that's when I first met uh uh Saint Dog because I didn't. I don't think Saint Dog was with them in the Tucson one, or maybe I can't remember. But I just I don't remember meeting Saint Dog until that night at Kane's in, in San Diego. You know, yeah. And, and that's when I met Zinger and everybody. And that dude, that was a wild night too because uh, Mower with Mower headlined that night, and they had a No Fear bus. They had like they had rented out like I don't know how they got it, but they you remember the No Fear energy drinks? No, yeah, they had yeah, like, yeah. They had like the No Fear bus. It was like a party bus. No Fear yes, bus. Yes, I, I remember that. They had that when they when we toured with them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and and they were and so uh, they headlined that night. They got on stage, dude. They had all these hot chicks with them, dude. And my, me and my boys were the only ones who went and bought like fucking two thirty packs of beer. They 
they got to the Snow Fear bus. They weren't gonna let. They definitely weren't gonna let us on. They weren't gonna let no dudes on. They were gonna bring these. They were gonna bring these chicks on a No Fear bus, but all they had <laughs> was, no, was No Fear energy drinks, dude. So, and we had all the beer. And so, like, Dom's, like, Chris and Dom are like, ah, fuck it, just let them on. So, like, we got to go fucking roll around in a No Fear bus like all night long. Smart move. San Diego fucking <laughs> partying, partying all night long with these hot chicks and fucking mower, dude. It was great, dude. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I was like. I was like 22 years old or 21 years old. It was fucking yeah, awesome. That, that's fucking dope. <laughs> yeah, good well, times, man. Good times. Well, all right, Stack. Well, like I said, I appreciate it. Uh, for anyone that just tuned in, his new album, Live Your Best Life, is up for pre-order right now. Stack Styles, the newest signing to Suburban Noise Records. Thank you very much, brother. We really appreciate it, man. Hey, thank you guys too, man. You guys are fucking you, legends. Man. I love y'all, man. Thank you so much. Thank peace you, brother. Out, brother. Hey, my brother. Peace All out, right, brother. Much love, guys. Okay, peace. Much love. All right, peace. Noise? Peace. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, that was Stack Styles. That was that was a great interview. Yeah, man. it was he's awesome. A, yeah, yo, let's see. That kids going places. Yeah, he's, he's, it's it's good to see people when they're young and they're, and they're loving it. I said five years from now he wanted to kill someone. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you could tell he loves what he's doing. No, that, that's, that's 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 what that's a, that's one thing that we all come in there with about all love and music. So you don't love music anymore? I love music. Oh, yeah. I know well, you I, do. I love other things too. Well, yeah. clearly you love chocolate. You do. You, you got a I'm lot not, of chocolate I'm not, tonight. I'm not a real chocolate guy. I know it. You're eating a lot of it. He's a Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Fella. We always do a, a Oh, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Are hold we on. ready hold for that hold yet? Hold on. Hold on one second. Uh, hold I on. Who, I see who just came in. Let's start with this. Now going live to the three dumbest idiots we know, <laughs> Rick Dog, Jason Logic, and Prolific, live from sports event. <laughs> idiots! Oh, and you guys already got it the yeah. wrong way. You, you know, you have it the wrong way. You should know this by now. Turn your camera, Turn your camera. idiot! How come you never posted any of my questions? Because I don't want to. Yeah. You got your camera the wrong way. Turn the other way. Give the idiots. Idiot camera. Idiot cam. What's your name? Idiot cam. What's your name? How's the game? How are you guys, how you guys doing? What are you guys doing out there? We are reporting live from UWM Panther Arena, where the Admirals yeah. are tied against. You at the Admiral thing? How drunk are you guys? Is Zach holding your pocket? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Where's Zach? Where's Zach at? No, that's, that's uh, Rick. We're trying, to, trying to find a quiet spot for us. Well, why'd you already go live then if you weren't ready? I didn't know it was going to be that fucking loud. Huh? I didn't know it was going to be that loud where I couldn't hear that. You didn't know that there were. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. Go back. Go back. We're losing. We're losing. Oh, we go lost back. Them. We go lost back the other way. Go back the other way. Turn around. Turn around. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hold on. Rick, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Go to the roof. You're, for one, the camera, you should put it stay the still, other way. Stay still. Stay still. Put the camera stay the still. other way so we can see it the long way. Who is that, Luigi? There, there you go. Hey, oh, idiot. my God. All right. Reporting live from the Admirals ah, game. How are you? Oh, Jess. Just hi, show Jess. Jess. Just show Jess. Oh, I can't hear no, no, idiot, can't hi, Jess. Me. What's up, baby girl? Glad, glad you guys are having a great night. Yo, Rick, we are. yo, is that Luigi back there? So, hey, what's the hey, score? Man. What's this? How many goals? No, how many buckets has the Admirals had? For uh, the three, three field goals. <laughs> three sports. How, nice. drunk, how, how drunk are you guys? Yeah, sixty yards. Three, they three scored a sixty-yard like goal. And like three of these. Oh, only three? How much are those blue moons? How much are the beers there at the 16 game? Dollars. 15 bucks. Fifth, no, you're lying. Are they really 15? Yeah, these are $15. 15 bucks. 15? How else are they going to pay for Dropkick Murphys hey. to play the halftime? Hey, 15 <laughs> bucks, little man. Put that in my hand. If you don't... Oh, okay. <laughs> he what? fucked it up. How drunk are you? Oh, oh yeah. Idiot. <laughs> Are you guys all drunk right now? Out of the yeah. drunk bus? Look, look at what's going on. He's walking there. away from him. Why is yeah. he walk away from those guys? Why is anyway, I've never taken these fucks to another Admiral's game. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm tarred. laughs> they... Show us your jersey. How drunk is everyone? Drunk? How blown out are they? <laughs> Not that drunk. 
Yeah, you're full when of shit. When they're sixteen dollars a piece, yeah. Yeah, yeah but you guys were on a drunk bus before that, weren't you? What are you, my PO? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go back to the. Are you guys going to meet us up at? Uh, no, uh, yo, yo, listen, Palace? wait, wait, uh, hold, hold on, hold on. on. It, make like sure well, these guys, these guys, these guys are on the stall already. <laughs> Are you guys going to miss that Light Palace later? Uh, the, the Ice Palace? Yes, whatever. Ice Capades? Probably. I mean, All right. We'll I see think, you there. Uh, Go I, your... think, I think Prolific and Jay are going to Lacage or something. I don't know. <laughs> hey, they look, definitely are. It's look, Power Bottom Night. Gay Bar. Gay Bar. Oh, it's, it's like the, the, the end zone? The, yeah, kind of. Whatever the end Not zone just is. a clever name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rick, you have fun sporting. Yeah, go have sports. The blue. All right, have fun uh, circle drinking each other. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. We, we got more shit to do. Bye. Bye. Idiot, idiot Cam's over. I'm removing this. All right. Uh, God, Idiot oh, Cam. The blue, the blue Oyster. Blue Oyster. We, we didn't even need an intro for the Idiot Cam. It just it sold itself. Look at Rick walking around. He's probably going to the urinal. I'm not, I'm not talking to Rick. All right. Go back to your seats, Rick. Should I, should I go back Am I bringing him yeah, back? He no, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Hold on, bring him back. Hold on. <laughs> hey, he's back. Ah, oh, he's back. <laughs> Fuck hold you. On. We're no, no, take him out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> ah! Hey. Hold on. Hey. All top. right, I'm getting out of here. All right. Anyways, we got like 20 minutes left before we get out of the show. Yes, let's let's talk about. <laughs> let's, let's get out of there. Buy that. my shit, son. The Ruckus Podcast Show is lot filmed live before a studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anyways, I want to talk about this real quick. We always do a current topic. You guys, check this out, and we're going to talk about this. This isn't in our wheelhouse usually, but it kind of is. Check this out. I'm going to need some whiskey glasses. Smiling in his mugshot, facing an unlikely six years in jail, Morgan left police lockup at 3.30 a.m. after posting his $15,000 bail. This is the only video of the chair flying off the roof of Eric Church's six-story Nashville bar called Chiefs. Captured by EarthCam, fortunately, this poor chair landed harmlessly in the street below. Unfortunately for Morgan, it landed near two police officers. I can see me sitting in the back of a cop car banging my head on a window. Morgan was arrested on three felony counts of reckless endangerment and one count of disorderly conduct. His first court appearance in the matter set for May 3rd. It's unclear why he allegedly tossed the chair, but a source told the Daily Mail he'd been struggling with his ex-girlfriend and the mother of his son, KT Smith. She got remarried just a few days before Chairgate. KT, however, has since shot down that story. I can't love you more than my no stranger to controversies. This marks Morgan's third arrest. 2016, arrested for a DUI charge, later dropped. May 2020, arrested for public intoxication and disorderly conduct. Those charges also dropped. And in 2021, he was caught on TMZ video using a racial slur. Morgan was temporarily suspended by his record label and later entered rehab. But on the bright side, he's been nominated for six Academy of Country Music Awards, including Entertainer of the Year. But, yo, <laughs> wait, who's this guy? Who's this? <laughs> Morgan Wallen. He's the one that said the N-word, right? Yes. Oh, a country star saying the N-word? Yo, what? I like how they said yo, all yo. the different shit, and they're like, on the bright side, he's been nominated for every fucking award in country music. I want to say, say something right now. Listen, country people... Country singers are country singers. That's their world. Let's uh, yeah, mean, yeah, talk, yeah, talk yeah. the world. Let me yeah, do you say think? what I say? I don't know anything about that, but they, you know, it's white trash, hillbilly shit, and they fuck. And he seems like he's head of his game over there. So, <laughs> but I'm saying he seems like that, that nigga seems like he's doing his doing the right stuff for being I mean, where he is. But I'm just saying this. Yeah, yeah. Let's say this. Say this and say, say that. I th listen. I throw chairs like that every fucking. Tour. Yeah, what's a Scarhead tour like yeah, compared so, to that Morgan that, Wallen? That, that guys, that, that's that's every day, every day. Scarhead just do crazy more shit than that, and, that, and we have punk rock hardcore. Like like I am what I am, but and, 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 and listen, sell records. I am what I am. That's just crazy though. I, 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 that uh, he threw a fucking chair off four so stories. I, I threw a chair off the thing. Oh, I've done that too, many many times. And he's like, I threw a person off before. 
Allegedly. 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 Get the shit out of someone. Uh, so, story Morgan Wallen, could he be a part of Milwaukee? Yes. <laughs> White trash Milwaukee. Yes. Yeah, okay. He right. looks like every if the, if you go to Lighthouse Morgan, whatever his name is. No, I'm in wrong the corner. Hair. I'm he'll, he'll, like, he'll, you, listen, I told you about that hair. What's wrong with my hair? You, 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 you turned you, you went from like a like look, you look white trash. Bro. Yes. Good. You're not like that, bro. Why, got, why can't it be white trash? Because you got Serbian blood in Yes, Serbia! 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 Oh. Yeah. Also, Pichka. Also, Pichka. Listen, he also got Native American blood in too, too. Yes. Also. Yes. So so I'm just trying to say. Oh shit! Jake said he had a homie. That's the Kid Rock's bar and saw the whole thing go down. What? He his his homie was there at the when uh, Morgan Wallen was doing that shit. <laughs> Vinny said, "I knew he was ready for this." <laughs> yeah, he was. You should have seen. You should have seen him worked up when he was watching. That. He's like, "What? What? What?" <laughs> You were worked up. That's lovely. Puerto Rican Mike would be fucking. Like, oh my god! Oh Puerto Rican Mike, right, right there. We, we gotta get Puerto Rican Mike into co- country music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He'd probably do amazing. He'd fucking probably sing. He probably could sing country amazing. He probably could. He'd be on Crystal Meth, <laughs> <laughs> beating white women. <laughs> That's like, country like, as fuck. Like how you should if you do country music. So let's, let's <laughs> let me ask you about this. Hey, of speaking of white, tra- <laughs> sp- sp- hey, not just white trash. Speaking of, hey, Danny, look look at this picture. That Dow. What's going on there? Damn son, it's not white trash. Son. Oh. Jaws. That's Adolf Christ. Son. That's Adolf Christ. You were with Adolf Christ. You were with son. Crowbar last week. Check this out. I'm gonna show these people. My boy Matt. That's my boy Kirk. Kirk. My and there's uh Sin guy with you guys. Listen, I'm telling you right now, I brought little James. This also. music is crazy. <laughs> What's I, going on? You know, like I was like, yo, I, I totally forgot. I was like, we're taking pictures. I was like, oh, yo, I, I said, Sin guy, they're fucking from New Orleans. He goes, they're from the south. <laughs> <laughs> then, Kirk, then Kirk was like, hey, it's chosen boy. <laughs> Good old Sin God. He's, he's already in like, New York right like, now, right? It was like deliverance. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Ding, 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 ding. You got a pretty mouth. Sin, I thought I saw Sin God say he was a like, gutter. Shout out to my boy Gutter Christ. Shout out to Gutter Christ. So he's landed. Sin God's performing at the El Diablo 420 party on Friday in Brooklyn at the Woodshop. All E Train artists. And all family, the Force Five family. We got Jerry X. We got Tony Slippers. We Hell got yeah. Piss Mob. We got uh, Pride Prolific. Hold on, I'm gonna show it right here. Here's, Wait, here's, here's what, the flyer. Right? That's it, right? Yeah, Pride Prolific. Uh, I can't see the other. It's so tiny. It's hard to see. Well, well listen, we got, we got, we got everyone there, and basically uh, that day we have, we have vendors, we have uh, go-go dancers. Uh, bring your black boys, your graffiti writers. Everyone's welcome. No beef. Come down. You can wear your colors, wear your cuts. We don't give a fuck. Everyone respect each other. It's, it's a party. We have vending tables. Pitchfork is having a table. Culture is having a table. So we're going to have t-shirts. We're going to have uh, bongs. Everything had to do edibles. Everything had to do with the green stuff. We stuff. 420. 420 at midnight. Boom. Then I'm DJing with White Owl and Lord Jewish. That's it. We're going to keep it. It's a weed event. Everyone's going to be having a good time. You're also DJing tomorrow right here in town. Oh, I'm, 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 everyone come down. To, if you're punk rock, hardcore, metal, come down to Zabatic. Hip-hop. Fucking, I'm playing look free, at, free look at Dadimir top. Putin right Dan, there. Dan, Dadimir. Dadimir Putin. That's a sheepskin. You, and, you Milwaukeeans, that's a sheepskin. While, while you're there, I'll be on the other edge of town doing the Swap Murder CD yeah. release party. So, yeah. I won't you see better, you tomorrow. You better come after this. Don't white claw jump in the what? car after you jump, jump in the car. Get off get at the stage. Come with your little car. Jump, jump, jump down. See yeah, you'll be done yeah. by yeah. eleven. You'll be done by eleven. Also, by eleven. I'm there to fucking. Jump. Also, no, listen, you're my manager. Oh, uh, listen, you're my manager. Ding, 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 ding. If you were DJing ding, ding, ding. and I played the show, and I was. You would be banged out in a, at the Queens, I'll at be Queens there. Bridge or Woodhaven fucking hotel. There's a the Woodhaven the Haven Hotel. Still I going, know. still going strong on Woodhaven Boulevard. <laughs> it's one mile from my mother's house. <laughs> it's right by my mom's house. I can't take horse back to my mom's house. Tell them about this one too be, right. before we fucking forget. The Lord Ezek shirt. Look at this cut. This is the New York in Carver. black. That we ship, we ship to Europe, we, we ship, ship to Japan, everywhere. worldwide. So South America, all your hardcore heads, except Australia. You yeah. piss me off. <laughs> New Zealand, but listen, New York hardcore Lord. He's like, this goes out to all the hardcore kids. 
graffiti kids, Lord Ezek. Get it? We have it in black shirts and blue shirts. Even the gay firefighters should get them. Listen, the, the, the world, we need gay firefighters. We need we need firefighters. Period. Stop Go it, to Danny fire. Diablo merch. You can see at the bottom. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Danny Diablo merch or force5records.com. Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's so good. We, when we say gay firefighters, we're not talking about gay fire. We're talking about the Harkle kids with the poom poom shorts. <laughs> and the mustache. With the mustache. <laughs> like the, the, for the village people. No, and they're all diesel. And they're, little, they're all diesel. They're all diesel. <laughs> and, they're like, and they're judging you. They look like they look like the brawny nigga. And he's staring. Yep. <laughs> I'm wearing little shorts and a little fanny pack. <laughs> nigga, I don't want to see your kneecaps. I don't see no niggas' kneecaps. No kneecaps. That should be a song. No kneecaps. <laughs> I don't want to see tight ass fucking poom poom shorts too. All right. Chill also, out. Richard Simmons. Who? I want to show this real quick. Richard Simmons, will fuck you How up. How crazy was this? Dick yesterday? Simmons. How crazy was this yesterday? Dick Simmons. What? Buffalo Bills running back. OJ Simpson. Or should we go to the 1990s? No, listen. Or should we go to the 1980s? Look at that one. Oh, listen, from Naked Gun. Yeah, you know, I want to tell you something right now. Listen, look, at, look at his listen, face there. Listen, 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 first of all, that man right there is one of the best football players in the fucking yes, world. Yes, but he's an asshole for a listen, person. Listen, stop, 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 uh, stop, uh, stop. Uh, stop. Uh, I want to tell you. I was talking. Yeah, talk. yeah. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't speak. I was, my father. That. My father was a cop. My father was a, a, a man that said what he wanted to say. So one, when I said, "Oh shit," we went to the Nick game. They stopped the Nick game for that chase. We, me and my boy Craig. Left. I'll never well, forget watching it live. I was acting the game. I was Square. working out. I was a Mad Square Garden, son. I now, was. They, they stopped Mad Square Garden in the mix to see. Mix. I was. I was 16, working at McDonald's, and we watched <laughs> the Bronco go. <laughs> can, can you guys remember where you were at when that Bronco Man, was going? I was going watching the game at Square Garden. I was working at McDonald's serving chicken. So that's why your life at McDonald's. I'm at, at Mad Square Garden. Thank you. I was getting my dick sucked in the South Milwaukee Library. <laughs> you were only 14. I wasn't getting my. Listen, dick so check it out. Check it out. Tell you. So I look at my. Also, I didn't understand about life, right? About women, right? So I'm gonna tell you something right now. So my father is watching, he's talking, he's like, yo, that guy, you know, when he did it, he's like, yo, whatever. He's like, whatever. I was like, yo, he did he's like what did your dad say? He's like, he's like, yeah, that's yeah, what he, happens. It will, when bitches do shit, stupid oh, shit. Oh, come you know, on. When, when, yo, listen, listen, listen. I'm just trying to tell you what he said to me. I was, hey, hey. So I'm trying to look at it. My father's a cop, my father's a hardest hard motherfucker. He was like, yo, he gave <laughs> he goes. He gave like that girl's family all jobs. Oh, I was no. like, yeah, dad, you tell him, OJ can do whatever the fuck he wants to do, OJ. <laughs> oh, that's why I say, don't fuck with these white bitches. <laughs> and and meanwhile, with- meanwhile, the guy, the guy's gave the bitch a house, everything. And all of a sudden, she's just fucking everyone in the fucking guest house while the kids are there. So a nigga went back there, saying, "Yo, I told you, don't fuck niggas while I'm home," and that's what happened. That's what happened. And that's a crime of and passion. that's how Khloe Kardashian was born. And, 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 that's, <laughs> that's her father. Look at her I face. Guess, I know. Bill like her. Khloe Kardashian catch her too. <laughs> I'm going to bang her out so quick. I mean, she's good looking. So, body. Yo, listen, so you say you'd bang OJ? Yo. <laughs> if, if you want to role play, Khloe, come here. Oh, <laughs> Does the glove fit? I guess her? rest in peace, OJ, after all that, right? Danny hasn't worn gloves since 86. OJ, rest in peace. Well, listen. At least they're, they're in heaven together. You <laughs> said OJ, rest in peace. <laughs> no, at least him and his ex-wife are in heaven right now together, holding hands. Oh, come on. Oh, he's holding her head. What? <laughs> <I'm sorry. Hey. laughs> come on. Careful. Respect from Big Joe. It's his, oh, what's up, he's sorry. Dead. All right, well, I guess <laughs> after that, I don't even know what to fucking say after that, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, they, they all, this is not worse than me. Peace, <laughs> Uncle Vinny. All right, if you guys can go to Danny Diablo merch, pick up some merch. Uh, also, my newest single, Trap and Ruckus, came out with yeah. uh, Ray De La Vega, Lazy Bone. Check that shit out. Supreme Four Syndicate. Supreme Four Syndicate is coming out. They yeah, Danny son. Diablo. We got what? They, they, right now, we're, almost, we're halfway done with mixing and mastering. The they Danny live. Dabble yeah. versus They Live. And it's Port of Milwaukee. Yo, and shout out to Diggy Ill Rock is yes. mixing and it. producing this. Killing it. Uh, uh, mastering. Mastering, so, yeah. I don't know if we can do that on our record, but, but he's, uh, he's definitely mixing it. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Stress. All right. Well, I, yeah. I think that's it. We, we're, we've we been almost an hour. Danny. No, it was cool. It was great. I, shout out to Stack Styles. Yo, Stack Styles, I want to do a song with uh, Stack Styles, Tony Slippers, and people love Jason. Maybe again for the Force 5 uh, uh, mixtape. Mixtape, yeah. I would do that. Yeah, let's yeah, do it. it yeah, Bam. Yeah. All right. Relic, you got anything left to say? 
I make toys now. <laughs> you do make toys. Check this toy out. Oh, show the toy. Toy cam. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just I cast can't... this in pot, uh, resin. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a little devil guy. <laughs> I haven't painted him yet. I don't know. That is uh the. It's sort of, <laughs> but I be I be making toys. I got toys in my pockets for all the young ladies out there. Oh. Twenty-five and up. <laughs> good save, good save. All right, with that, that shout out to Stack Style, Suburban Noise Records in the house. Every single one up. Chucky Chuck. Rockets Podcast in the house. I'm the DRP. This hey, is Lady Diablo, King Relic. King, King Relic. Relic. Thank you guys very much. What up, Miko? Thank you. Rockets. Miko.